Will Halo Infinite fail this year? Is that because 343 Industries is not creating a battle royale like those that you've seen on your screen? I mean, it's obvious. Once the first battle royale came out way back when H1Z1, we have seen nothing but a genre explode. Every developer wants to get their hands on another battle royale so they can see if they can get the golden apple, aka Fortnite money, which isn't that easy, which is why I applaud. 343 Industries because they are focusing on multiplayer this year instead of giving the people a battle royale. How can Halo Infinite succeed this year? I feel like if 343 Industries really focuses on a good multiplayer system, a good competitive system, and just a really good custom game mode with Forge, I do believe Halo is back if they do those core things because that's what the community cares about the most. If I go into a cop match on Halo, I see a level 4950, I know it's getting real, it's getting serious. So they better bring back those moments where I just know this is about to be a sweaty match because I see that guy's ranked. Halo has always had a good rank system and they gotta make sure to bring that back to keep the core competitive fans just wanting more. Halo Infinite on PC gives me a lot of emotions everybody because mods on Halo Infinite will literally keep this game alive just like how GTA 5 has been kept alive by its community all these years because of mods ladies and gentlemen. I really feel like 343 Industries eventually needs to give us mods on pc that way you'll see the community create anything man it'll literally be crazy it'll be forged on steroids i know most of you are probably wondering how do you even get into the next beta because i'm not gonna lie i knew the beta was going on i just did not know what you need to do to get into it i'll be linking all of that down below in the description pretty much you need to become a halo insider and once you go to the website you'll just have to fill out a lot of stuff whether you're playing this on xbox or on pc very self-explanatory so it'll be linked down below in the description for you guys and they've already stated since this beta was really short it was only like three full days july 29th through august the 2nd they're looking for the next beta to add more players from the halo insider and have more players overall so i would imagine that they're gonna do a whole open beta before this game fully releases which is supposed to release holiday 2021 so i'm looking at late november early december but i would imagine they're probably gonna say okay for this weekend we're gonna be selecting Selecting some Halo insiders to play the beta when we finally do the whole PvP, and then they'll probably open it up for everybody else throughout the week or have another weekend where they open it for people. This is just me speculating, but I do think that they are gonna go that route rather than just continuing the whole Halo insider. And pretty much the last thing that I got for you guys from the beta was the fact that if you're giving us the beta on PC, you gotta know some people are gonna be nerds. Some people went into the game files and pretty much just found spoilers about the campaign, and the only thing that i'll say about the campaign is that people are stating it's gonna be a good one they were able to see that in the game files and also see references to a possible battle royale in the game this is interesting because obviously 343 has already stated this year that they're focusing more on multiplayer rather than a br system like all of their peers in the game industry i'm honestly happy for 343 industries if they do intend to just focus on multiplayer and not a battle royale however if it is in the game files it doesn't mean that they have worked on something it just doesn't mean that we'll see it when the full game comes out because you never know they could have tossed it as in like we did want to come out with a battle royale but because we see all the negative comments etc we're just not going to drop it if you have been a halo fan for a long time you know that they do throw in some different type of modes like oddball and there's just so many modes that we've played in halo's lifespan i could see them doing the same thing for battle royale do not think that they can't just toss up a battle royale mode for a weekend see if people enjoy it or not see who's going to be the last spartan standing and then move on i could definitely see them doing that and like i said if it's in the game files it means that they've worked on something like it it just doesn't mean that we'll see it when the full game comes out and that's going to be it for today's video like i said before i will be linking everything that you guys need down below in the description question of the day do you think halo infinite will be a call of duty killer put your answers down below in the comment section let's start a discussion i'll debate with some of you guys it's been boy chris here i'll see you guys in the next one peace out